Remember that time when humanity started summering in the upper atmosphere? Genomes got sequenced and the Yankees won the World Series, uh, um, specifically against the Mets. Today I'm talking about that one from the year 2000, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's been a really long time since I've seen this movie, and as a kid this wasn't really one of my go-to Christmas movies, so I'm coming into this fairly fresh. Uh, And before you say that that is a sacrilege, we were firmly a Home Alone and the Santa Claus household. Woof! I'll start with the obvious and make a fun rhyme. A potential issue to adapt would be the runtime. The padding of the script contains some really smart choices from the Grinch's added backstory and including new voices. I him, I didn't have time to socialize. I was far too busy with my studies. We get new points of view from brand new characters. We get homages to genres outside original parameters. Opening with this throwback to 80s teen horrors, the kids from Whoville approach the Grinch's he quarters. When he's hungry for the taste of who fresh. <laughs> Though it's a tad strange how scared they are all, when the Grinch's misdeeds amount to funny prank calls. Uh, is my Sub-Zero Childerbreder running? Uh, I suppose. Well then you better go catch it! The Grinch is our hero, in a manner of speaking, so they add in the mayor for the villain we're seeking. Did someone just say, Grinch? A background developed through Cindy's interviews, our poor hero bullied, tormented, and rejected by Who's. So the Grinch leans into their jibes and their spite, takes the title of monster, sort of like the alt-right. The Grinch wants his shrunk heart to be seen as the villain, which helps to pad out our feature-length villain. Yes! Down a size and a half! And this time, I'll keep it off. The script adds hubilation as a chance at redemption, but our script's new villain delays the preemption. Little Cindy Lou Who sees the problem alone, too late as the Grinch moves to reap what's been sown. Shot selection in this movie is not quite strangest, but lots of Dutch angles and listing bobbling changes. Sometimes it works and is really quite potent. This intro of the Grinch is especially cogent. The, 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 the. the Grinch! But it's often distracting, it legit never stops. Almost all steady shots have a corner that drops. Hello? But worse than the non-stop odd camera moves is the Grinch's real costume just covered in pubes. The Grinch is there! I like the real sets, it lends great Santa's village vibes. Color is wacky, vibrant, like the world it describes. Though it could have gone farther, more fantastic and zany. At least it came out before adaptations were gritty and grainy. Not pleasant. Mount Crumpet is kept in its authentic 2D, which is nostalgic as all hell to see. The Who's at the end still sing around the tree. Not including this scene would be deal-breaking for me. Adding in mature jokes is the adult elixir, though that had been trending for a while by Pixar. Hey, honey! Our baby's here! He looks just like your boss. The original cartoon is also respected. A song, some shots, an homage is expected. Charming as an ear, Mr. Gray. There are only two songs which seems too few, just one for the Grinch and one for Cindy Lou Who. If your characters sing, use what Disney modeled. Audiences of kids love to be coddled. Is it safe? Sure, do you trust me? I like the use of the narrator here, lines straight from the source pleasing the ear. Then the Grinch heard a sound, rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. The technique merges the new content without seams and really cements the new movie's themes. The movie makes it clear the heart of Whoville is rotting, which allows us to humanize our Grinch's plot. Boy, nothing beats Christmas, right? I guess. Commercialization of Christmas, reliance on products, presents, keeping up with the Joneses, focus on dollars and cents. The Grinch's home is where the Who junk ends up. The shit in Whoville literally runs up. Only Cindy Lou and the Grinch see the issues in place, the roots of Who Christmas being slowly oh, erased. Don't care. I mean, I myself am having some Yuletide doubts. There's the mayor who leads against the Who's best interest. What must it be like to have a leader so witless? He even uses religion to control. How pathetic. Who knew that Ron Howard would be so prophetic? Baby Grinch hating Christmas was a bit of a misstep, but I guess I've never been left in a crib on a doorstep. Everybody realized that he was out there. The poor dear. It would play better if he only learned to hate through experiences. It would help to establish the stakes of the story, the seriousness. After all, the Grinch enjoys his time at Hubilation before his childhood bully shows up to dash his elation. There's no check. 
Are you sure? The Grinch, in effect, is more upset by charade that Christmas is now about presents, products, parades. And the more the Grinch thought of what Christmas would bring, the more the Grinch thought... I must stop this whole thing. To prove the hypocrisy, he will take what they love, and the Grinch is right to a point, kind of. Even Cindy's kindness when he's caught in the act leaves the Grinch's desire to hurt her intact. Nice kid. Bad judge of character. Whereas in the book, the Who's never lost their way, we know here that the spirit is stolen away. Thematically, the Grinch and the Who's have the same realization. The presents and money were not the Christmas foundation. He's been trying to tell me. What is wrong with you? This is a child. She's my child. And she happens to be right, by the way. The new background created just for this story now has purpose, not filler or transitory. With such a short story as originally conceived, a purposeful feature was truly achieved. Huh? But this all being said, the ending of this video is nigh. The greatest feat of this movie, then, is giving us not the how, but the why. What are you laughing at? Cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch, he even took their last can of Who Hash. Uh, pandemic lockdown seems like the perfect time to sit back and smoke some Who Hash. Can we talk about how the Grinch created hover technology from a junkyard? And also that there's somehow a Who Navy? Guys, do, do who's fuck?